Hi friends and friendly subscribers, welcome back to my channel. This is Inner Hill Tarot and today we're going to do energy pairing between the Golden Black Cat Tarot and the Marigold Tarot. And I would like to do this because now Mabon is over. We're going into the Samhain um, time of the year which is halloween so i'm kind of preparing what kind of decks that i want to work with this uh, sewing season halloween season and to do that i would also like to do the energy pairing as well so that is one of the many um not many some of the videos that i will do in october featuring uh decks that's um halloween heavy basically so both of this deck i think have this quality and i like this both because it goes to a uh, same color scheme that is my cat's tail i'm so sorry he's just really like that and both also like a gold um foiled which is really nice so i i like these two decks you know um but i haven't never seen both of them pairing up uh, next to each other so let's see what kind of magic that we probably would see by pairing them up together okay so let's do this i'm probably gonna be silent except when i see a jump up of a image that i feel it's really good to talk about okay so please do enjoy semi silent flip through this semi silent flip through even closer together I like this Emperor uh, cards because I think the Black Cat Tarot has um, probably busted as the Egyptian deity which is like a black cat as well with the Ang symbol here whereas in the Marigold Tarot it's more like a yogi stance you know with the, with the attire and stuff that he's wearing his attire he's wearing it feels very yoji for me interesting and the same with the hierophant as well with the eye of horus it signifies that she's busted and in here is also it's like a jesus christ actually the her his gesture when telling everyone um you cannot go to uh to the kingdom of god only by through me you can go this uh, speech this time i love these chariot cards both of them with the bicycle and black and white horse is so cute The strength also very beautiful. And the Wheel of Fortune is also very beautiful because it's about the fates. The same, the fates. The thread of fates. Oh, 
Oh, I love these death cards. Look at this. Such a badass death. <laughs> it's the same with the death here. Beautiful cards. at the blue moon between the new moon and the full moon here it's very very beautiful black moon i mean the new moon rather and the sun here is uh, the skull of a lion It's also very beautiful judgment card here because both of them, it's, it's a very poetic way of saying judgment or glow up. A sense of glow up is actually listening to your higher self and get up, you know, because these both are the same character, right? But one is in a 5D, one is a 3D and when you are following what the 5D, uh, you or the higher self or call it the spirit guides, call it God, whatever, you, um, you heed the call basically. Uh, that's when the glow up happens. It's a beautiful card, both of them. I like the Ace of Wands suits in the Marigold Tarot because it features different uh, plants that has a um, feeling of uh, this expansion and very close to um, the spirits. Because flowers on plants is actually a direct manifestation from the seventh... Um, from the seventh dimension you know that's why they have different colors right they capture the colors from the rainbow from the seventh dimension actually and even this um the plants is looks almost the same if you see it let me check what is in the three of wands what plant is this Bum, bum. Forest, yes, stems symbolize foresight. Yes, of course, symbolize foresight for the three of wands because it's a sense of the beginning. It's beautiful, beautiful card. The four of wands also with the chrysanthemum. symbol of peace in Japan and health also well look at in the six of one the symbol of victory it's um, there's like five pointed stars Le yeah in almost the same level in the card in the center of it I think the six of wands here also symbolize the um, victory over the five elements or something like this. I'm 
look at this seven of wands with the new moon again it looks like this one is in the middle of this it's beautiful how poetic things can be this i don't understand what is the meaning of this eight of wands let's check it out while we're here anyway her burr branches and fruits symbolizes new developments action completing projects burr branches okay i never heard of that kind of plants but burr branches it is <laughs> nine of wands with the sunflower It is as if this cat were um, called to harvest all of these plants here <laughs> by himself. The ten of ones. So cute. Wow, oh, the night is also beautiful. Both of them. This looks like Batman like bad cat <laughs> oh it's so funny the queen of ones she always have a cat no matter what kind of color it is sometimes but black cat on black cat is just so funny and in this one and in marigold of course has to take the symbol of the sun which is a sunflower so poetic And the king of wands with the salamander and i have to read what his oh this is the marigold he took a marigold huh that's the king of wands and this is swords first so let's go to cup first then I just put it here. Come back to it later. Look at this. The shape of his skull. It's all full of love. And the Ace of Cups. Oh, it's so beautiful. Both of this. We're back to roses. Six of Cups also, it's really really cute, both of them. It's funny in a, in a way that the cup suit become very peepish for the marigold tarot where whereas in this deck it's still very scenery, you know. It's very interesting as well. Beautiful with the nine of cups, eh? happiness. It's like calling a genie of another cat.
Look at this ten of cups. I think it's quite the opposite between each other with the noose here. It is the is it this means that this is a happiness in life equal happiness in death kind of thing? It's very interesting two cards together. Wow, look at this. This is like looking at the cats looking at him. It's very. It's quite um, because this cat is looking, focusing on this fish, right? And also, this um, skull is focusing on something on the fruit or on the marigold that uh, he wanted to catch. It's the essence of Page of Cups, searching for something with the feeling. Bad men again, bad cats. All the night suits, all the knights are bats. Also bad cats, I guess. Queen of Cups with the lotus flower, so beautiful. Oh, look at this King of Cups. They both have some kind of intuition someone who has a lot of fruits in their head a lot of knowledge wisdom heartful wisdom okay we got the swords now it's beautiful with the rose and the swords It's become quite pippish, eh? the this deck, the marigold tarot in the minor suit. I mean, in the minor arcana archetype, not suits. not very handy these cards stick to each other a lot look at this it's so beautiful such a beautiful eight of sword card it's all like pointing to the wisdom tooth I mean wisdom you know it's to living Living something, some situation that doesn't work for you anymore is a wisdom. So true. both ten of swords is so powerful isn't it it's being stabbed by the energy of the marigold <laughs> by the sun oh my gosh
cards. Wow, it's beautiful. And in the marigold, this rings. It's funny in both cards, it has the sense of playing around with the pentacles with the projects. It's kind of emphasizing. Beautiful. Look at this four of pentacles. It's talking about the budget, and this guy is just like, No, it is all mine. <laughs> no compromise. <laughs> ah, cats. Five of swords. It's all bounded. Uh, five of pentacles, bounded. Um, bounded hands. Bounded fingers, I mean. Look at this card, it's so beautiful. Waiting for harvest from the tree. And this is also. Waiting for the right timing from the stars. Oh, wow. To look at the stars to wait for divine timing. Such beautiful cards. It's beautiful. Working like perfecting your uh, your skill and this is perfecting the understanding of the sky so you can arrive at the time when everything is in bloom everything is in time it's really beautiful it's happiness and this is actually resonating with this one, the Ten of Pentacles in this. The, the goal, the goal of happiness. What is it for you? And for this one, the Ten of Pentacles. It's beautiful. Something like the home feeling is something you want to embrace. What is it inside these houses? that you want to have, right? So beautiful, poetic between the two of them. We don't have the bad cat anymore. It's the regular night. <laughs> oh, because it's in the earth now, yeah? It's not the bad cat anymore. It's just beautiful. Oh, it's very sweet. The last card is King of Pentacles. The master of the earth. So that is um, a very quick flip through of both of this deck, the Golden Black Cat Tarot and the Marigold tar Tarot. I don't know, I feel both of this deck is quite resonating in my opinion. Uh, I like the storytelling between the two of them. I think I will start to using them now after this video is done. Um, there is some kind of question that I need to ask uh, to the cards anyway. And I love the way the poetic um, language from both decks that works together, in my opinion. I think it's really sweet. 
um i don't know if you guys also use these two decks already what do you guys think do you like uh, using these two decks or actually you guys don't know about them please do let me know in the comments and also don't forget to subscribe and share if you're stumbling upon this video and you like the content because that's the best way for you to help me and my to support my channel and so that we i can keep on going building up content and you know um yeah building up content like this if you like it you know so thank you guys for seeing this video and see you again in the next one please do have a good day and night anytime you watch this video bye bye